gotta like pick up the goal and walk across this bridge and like jump through a window or some shit. I don't even know. I'm gonna kill you just for fun, you rascal you. I'm gonna kill you just for fun, you rascal you. I'm gonna kill you just for fun. The bugs can have you when I'm done. I'll be glad when you're dead, you rascal you. Ah, let me talk about him a while. Hi there, everybody. Welcome to Deep Fried Soup Recipe Book. This is Blogger Snogger speaking. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys today how to steal all the gold in the Sierra Madre Vault. Um, this is a pretty easy way to do it. I've read some guides online, and they have you like dragging the gold across this bridge and like jump through this window or some shit. I don't know. I didn't read through the whole guide because it seemed long and unnecessary. So we're going to do it the way that um, I figured out how to do it. Seems like it's a lot easier. Let's go ahead and open up the vault here. Begin again. You don't know how many times I've restarted here. Oh, go ahead and grab everything in the vault. We're not going to be dropping anything, so it doesn't matter how over encumbered we are. That's good enough. Go ahead and turn off the vault security on this monitor here. Disengaged. Oh, you want to open up your Vera file to Vera read this if you want. I do recommend reading all the terminals and stuff. There's some pretty cool stuff in them, but don't read that. Ew. Alright, so you pretty much just need to get Father Elijah down in the vault here. Blow it up. I got science, bitch. More science. Alright, now you're going to want to head straight out the door. And you're going to want to head to the right here, right next to this pylon generator or whatever thing. Tesla coil, maybe. Alright, anyway, so Father Elijah is going to be coming out through that door and he's going to come along the side here. So you just want to stay out of his vision by hiding behind this. Use the compass marker here to guide you. And you want to end up right about here. If you go any further, he's probably going to detect you and it's going to go flop. Um, I'm going to pause it right here because I'm not going to have enough time to tell you this. Uh, we're waiting for a point when Father Elijah gets up to the computer and interacts with the computer. Because when he's at that point, he's not going to turn around in time and notice you because he's in the middle of an action or something. I don't know the exact reason for it, but it works. So I'm going to tell you the point that you stand up and just head for the door because it's not going to matter if he detects you. Uh, so just listen for that and watch what he's doing. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and back up here and see he headed toward me. Got confused through this? the vault door safely. On the other what? side. You think you can run this entire structure is mine to command? Security, weapons. You think you've outsmarted me? You're the one on the leash. You always will. And you're out of the vet, uh, vault before he even finishes talking. So that's pretty much the easiest way I found to do it. Um, really makes it simple. This is probably the hardest part here is getting the gold back to your uh, house. Uh, there's a few ways you can do this. If you have the long haul perk, which I don't, you can just fast travel, obviously. Uh, you can use the BOS bunker that you came to the Sierra Madre in as like a hub and just transfer the gold bars to your house from there. Or you can walk your happy ass across the Mojave, which is what I will end up doing. Um, right, so. Thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, have a good day.